Welcome to my bathroom. Um, if you've seen my Instagram post, uh, you know that I pretty much clean everything in here. Um, I'm in a small apartment in Los Angeles, so I don't have many options, especially not outside because I'm on the second floor. Um, so I do everything in my bathtub. And uh, yeah, it works out. I'm not super invested in this bathtub considering I don't own this place and it's trashed anyway. So. I clean all my kegs, all my fermenters, all my uh, kettle, everything in here. And uh, it works pretty great. I've got a little uh, spray nozzle. It's fantastic. So I'm going to show you how to do a passivation uh, today and let's get to it. So my friends at Blue Dolly Brewing um, gifted me this seven gallon Chronicle SS Brewtech fermenter. Um, and it's a few years old, so I'm going to passivate it. Passivating is when you let the oxygen in the air react with the chromium in the stainless steel to create a protective layer um, on the stainless steel so it doesn't rust or corrode or anything. So. Um, high quality stainless steel will typically be passivated when you get it. Um, typically, if you get something new though, you are going to want to make sure you clean it off. Um, make sure there's no grease from the welding. Um, and then like after that deep cleaning, you'll want to passivate it again. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to use an oxidative cleaner. Um, I just use sodium percarbonate, which is essentially... It's essentially this OxyClean free stuff, but I just order it in bags online. Um, so this is basically an oxidative cleaner. You can use it for anything. Once it's all used up, it turns into soda ash, so it's pretty good for food uses. Um, and then once I'm all scrubbed up with that, I'm going to use star sand as my acid to passivate it. You can also use citric acid. Um, you're gonna need four to 10% um, concentration and that'll take 30 minutes. This, you basically do one gallon of water per one ounce of star sand. So I'm not gonna fill it all the way up because it, this stuff's expensive. So I'm just gonna clean it with my OxyClean and then I'm gonna fill it maybe about three gallons up, um, so three ounces, and then I'm gonna just come by every few minutes and wipe the star sand around the kettle, or around the fermenter, and that should do it. So then we're gonna dump the star sand, um, and we're going to let it sit open overnight and let it air dry, and then by tomorrow it'll be passivated. Uh, you just gotta make sure to rinse it out uh, again after it's all air dried. So, I'm gonna open this guy and see what I'm working with. Alrighty. So I'm not gonna worry about the lid. Um, it's fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a decent amount of uh, hot water in here and add my sodium percarbonate um, and just scrub the shit out of it. To scrub my stainless equipment and even my plastic equipment, I really like this Scotch-Brite um, like pad thing. It does a great job and it's really soft so it's not going to scratch anything. And then I use a pretty soft... Um, just brush um, as well and you definitely don't want to scrub with anything I mean you can scrub with stainless steel wool but it has to be stainless or like normal steel wool can pull off your coating um, so plastic brushes and everything that are soft are your best option and you can 
get, if you scrub hard enough, you can get beer stone and stuff off with them. All right, so just gonna put a big scoop in there. run some of this OxyClean through each of my valves as well just to make sure they're all cool. I mean, this is looking amazing already. Um, there was a little bit of uh, like beer stone in it, but it looks awesome now. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a quick rinse and then I'm gonna do my star sand. So, since we actually do need to know how much to what we are going to use for the star sand, I'm going to measure it. Um, this is a quart measuring cup and I'm just going to do like, I'm going to do two gallons because this is going to be a lot of measuring. And when you're doing star sand, you want it to be uh, like room temperature, don't use hot water. Okay, so that's my two gallons, so I'm gonna add two ounces of star sand. This stuff's so thick. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix this around. And splash it on the edges. Let me take off my ring. <laughs> So this is supposed to sit for 30 minutes and then you air dry it overnight and then once it's all air dried you're gonna rinse it out and you are passivated. So I'm not gonna obviously do this for 30 minutes but like I don't know every time I walk by my bathroom I'm just gonna make sure that it's still got some star sand on it. It's going good. Well, I hope this helps and I hope that your new fermenter works out great. Uh, like and subscribe if it was helpful. Um, passivating is basically when you apply an acid um, to the seal to perform. How we do it is, uh, So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to use an oxidative, I'm going to use, use star sand as my acid to um, passivate. I'm going to use star sand as my acid to passivate it. Oops.